zrobić. What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exquisite Gaming, my name is JP, and so we finally have another update for the Clonals Adventures Emulator. Now this one is called the Breakthrough Update, and it's it's called that with justice, this game, this update does a little shitload of breaking new grounds. It is pretty freaking awesome. It's got a shitload of nostalgia, and if you're playing on a 1080p or laptop or PC, then this game will run in 1080p. It's got a lot of new features, basically because the last update was on May 28th, and this one's been released on November 9th, which is like a pretty long time. Uh, so yeah, the presidential election today, shit like that. It's not a very fun day, but we have Clone Wars Adventures, the update has been released. I will have the link to the download area in the description below, so you can check it out. I have a lot of other videos on the emulator, you can go check those out, and I have also have a guide on how to install it, if you need help with that. Go to, a, go to my channel, playlist, uh, Star Wars, Clone Wars Adventures, all the videos are linked there, so be sure to do that. Without further ado, let's get into this. I am so excited. I've checked it out myself. It looks really good, guys, and I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> First of all, you, oh, there's a select character screen. You can make a new one. You, you can select one. I'm actually going to make another one, and I'm going to call it Exquisite. Oh, no. That's the way. So, what you got in this update, obviously this is the classic lobby, it hasn't changed much. Um, it's still kind of laggy, it's a lot better than it was originally, it's not as laggy as it was, but it's not perfect as well. If you come up to the top corner here, you see this zero, which is basically points. Yes, <laughs> you have points. There's a lot of new things in, in this update. You have points where you can go to the market here, and you can purchase weapons, Armor, yeah, that's the Mandalorian Death Watch armor um, from the original Clone Wars Adventures, which is pretty cool. I remember having <laughs> a full set of Mandalorian armor for my Jedi Knight. It made no sense, but it was awesome to have. And the armor is pretty costly, and basically how you gain points is killing enemies. You do some Galactic Starfighter, or Starfighter as it's called in this game, and shoot down some enemies. Uh, going to Umbara, shooting down some enemies will get you some more points. And yeah, we also have a new planet here, Ryloth. We will check that out later. Um, basically, the problem with that is it is very, very laggy. It hasn't been made perfectly. It has its own issues. It's pretty cool to check out. It's good for nostalgia if you play the original. But it does have its fair share of issues. Obviously, the graphics have been fixed immensely. Um, it, it looks really good. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Over here, we have Camino, I believe. Now, Camino isn't perfect. It's... Oh, go in. Come on. There we go. Camino is... It looks a lot better than it originally was, but it still has its issues. It, you can obviously see some of the rendering here is not perfect. Um, I don't... Rem like I said in my previous videos, I don't actually remember playing on Camino. I played it a really long time ago, and I was pretty young. Um, it's nice to relive these memories, and I do hope one day this does come online, but, uh, and you can communicate with friends, socialize, make guilds, but because there isn't really much to do, I think it's just going to remain a single-player application at the moment. Um, so this is Camino. It's basically just rendering of platforms. There's nothing much to it. The graphics here aren't amazing. It all looks the same, pretty much. Um, there's water underneath. Oh, you can land here. Yeah, you won't die if you land on a platform. The water underneath is... Yeah, you, if you land there or jump down, you die and it'll respawn back to where it was. It doesn't look great, but it's something. And, yeah, we're back now. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you tap here, you will be taken back to the classic lobby. So, yeah, the lobby is a lot better than it was originally, but... Uh, it's, it's still got its issues. And one of my favorite things added into this update is uh, the use of soundtrack. One of my favorite things about video games, films, TV shows is soundtracks. I collect them, I love them. They're one of my favorite things to listen to. And um, the Clone Wars soundtrack uh, composed by Kevin Kiner, uh, specifically in the Clone Wars film, was the first ever Star Wars film to be composed without John Williams and then it continued to the TV show and now currently with the Rebels TV show. It is 
really, really good, and I love hearing the music come on every time while I'm playing through this update. Just walking into Coruscant, hearing the theme play, it's soothing and it's very nostalgic. If you did play the game and you're a fan of soundtracks, then you will you will like this. Second of all, we have the Battle of Umbara. Now, um, if you remember, Umbara was a PvP section, and it basically still is. It plays a lot better than it did in the previous update. The May the 4th update was pretty good. Then there came another one, May 28th, uh, which added NPCs which you can shoot down. And you, you still can now. It's been improved. You get you gain points from shooting them. Um, you also you, Obviously, you can still have companions. I will bring one out now to show you guys. Yep. You can bring pets and companions to play. Um, on the right side here, you have all the armor, which you can choose from. But because I just made this character, and he actually doesn't, I haven't, I don't I only have 10 points. I haven't actually bought anything with him. Obviously, he has no armor to choose from. So basically, if you want to gain armor and points, you shoot some enemies down. You can die, a couple of shots, and you will be. Yep, yeah, there you go. I died. Um, respawn. It takes you back to the start. Umbara's not there's not that much different to it. It's pretty large and it does end. You can fall off and respawn over here. They are they running to me? How why are they running to me? Oh uh, the gameplay's starting to lag again. Alright, let's get out of here. The gameplay isn't perfect, but it's it's great for nostalgia. I'm enjoying it. Now this is the uh, this is the high graphic edition. There there is another one for Windows, which is not this detailed in graphic. Oh my goodness, like I'm gonna take out the companions because it's just kind of glitched. There we go. Um, all right, uh, where was I? I have no clue. Okay, <laughs> let's get into Coruscant, check it out. Cor okay, so this is the Starfighter area. You can, there's a travel guy here. So we are ready for launch. Just select your destination and we'll get underway immediately. Nice, it's still there. Um, there is still the Starfighter mode, which has been improved slightly. It's still not perfect, but it's it's pretty fun. Uh, you do gain a lot of points from taking down enemies in Starfighter. The Starfighter itself is very hard to control. It's not inverted, which I kind of hate. It's very, in flight simulators, I need my ship or airplane or anything to be inverted once again the gameplay isn't great it's kind of laggy but you do gain a lot of points if you are looking to buy some armor come here kill some enemies and you will you will get those points you're looking for um yeah there we go there's one neat i've already i've already stacked up a shitload of points with my other character but uh yeah i just wanted to make a new one to show you guys um, okay, so if you want to exit this, we've got to press escape, and you are out of it. Unfortunately, the main menu does come up sometimes when you press escape, but it's no big deal. Okay, so this door here, will, or whatever that is, the wall, will take you back to the main lobby area. This is where pretty much everything is. Um, let's search through all these doors, check out what's there. It's basically the same as the last one, last update, but everything's just much more detailed and improved. This is the mission area, I believe. Um, when I first played Clonal's Adventures, there's like a cutscene area where you basically come here and they explain to you your role and shit like that, and you ba they basically bring you here. I believe. It's been a while, I think that's what happens. So we search the room down here, let's check the room to the right, and then we'll check the one to the other side. Leave, and we'll check the rooms outside that, and then we can check out Rylon. Okay, here we have the canteen. This, this door here will take you back, so you want to come here to continue to the other door of the container. There we go. The shooting aspect has been improved immensely. It doesn't look retarded when you shoot anymore, except for when you jump and shoot. That's, that's a bit weird. But it's, it's been improved, and not as bad as it used to be. I think if you jump down here, you die. No, you don't. But how am I supposed to get back up there? That is the question. 
Oh. Hamlet. Oh, what is this? Yeah, I actually showed this in one of my previous videos. I jumped down here and couldn't get back up, and unfortunately, you still can't get back up. So I'm just going to quick travel back to Coruscant, uh, head through the door, and you've, that's basically the entire cantina. Um, so we've okay. So this door was the mission area. This is the cantina. Now we are going to check this door. See what's hiding behind here. Okay, combat area. So they've added a new NPC, you can't really talk to him or anything. It's Obi-Wan, he was there originally, and he's still there. But you can't talk to him, he's just there. Uh, combat training, that is another way to gain points. But it does, you do get points at a slower rate, and that's kind of understandable. It's very easy to take down enemy, enemies, so every enemy you take down is worth one point. In my opinion, it's better to just play some Starfighter and gain some points. Or go to Umbara and lay waste to some droids. This is fun if you want to just sit here and click your button for an hour. It does get very tedious and boring, but uh, it's it's fun. It's enjoyable. Watching the screen and pull is enjoyable. <laughs> but eventually it, it, it does get tedious. So I'm going to reach 300 or more. Alright. That was fun. Okay. And yep, the main menu pops up. So yeah, this is the combat area. It's much more detailed than recently. Uh, there is an elevator here, which this, uh, this elevator is really kind of a bitch. You're gonna want to get. We'll explore a bit more before we come back. Um, the elevator over there is a bitch. You have to like jump on it as soon as it comes down because it leaves straight away. It's kind of like the old public elevators. If you play the old public, you know those elevators can be dog shit unless you're literally standing under them. There we go. Got it. Another thing about this game, you you jump pretty high. It's kind of like Halo. <laughs> you have an epic jump. Anyway, so this is the combat training area. We will be leaving now and returning to the main lobby. Okay, so we've seen these three over here. There's one last one here. This basically takes you back to the Starfighter area where you can travel anywhere, do anything. Just want to show you guys so we can head back and go to the veranda uh, vendor area. Now the veranda vendor area doesn't have much to it, it's actually there's two rooms, three rooms, and two doors which lead back into the lobby. So this is the area, if you guys do remember there used to be vendors here, I think, and you can purchase armor and stuff like that from them. The NPCs run around but they're completely glitched out, like, just pay no attention to those really retired things and whatever. Alright, so there are two rooms. I'll check out this one first. This is the yeah the armor modification area. It, I don't know. This room is really fucked up. Everything's kind of floating. It definitely needs uh, some updating. It's very detailed. It looks nice, nicer than it used to. But uh yeah, everything's kind of floating. It makes no sense. <laughs> yep, there are things around here. It, I mean. Like I said, I didn't spend a lot of time playing this game. I mean, I spent a lot of time playing this game as a kid, but I wasn't an MMO I was a kid. I was an MMO fan. I wasn't an MMO fan. Oh, my mouth. <laughs> I wasn't an MMO fan. I was kind of... I was a kid. I liked the Force Unleashed and Straight to the Point games, like um, Jedi Outcast and stuff like that. So the majority of the time, I was just doing lightsaber jewels. I was a noob. What can I say? So I didn't really spend much time in rooms like this. I definitely remember the main lobby of the Starfighter launch area. But rooms like this, I have no memory of. Why did the... Oh, it brought me back here. Oh, okay. Okay, let's head back out. And show you the other room, which is the Jedi Archive. Over here. Okay, so this is the Jedi Archive. I really, really like this room. It's very detailed. It's, it's been done very well. Um, yeah, it gets very dark, so I tend to just shoot my way through to kind of light the way. Like a candle. <laughs> Just keep shooting. Um, that blue area over here is kind of like a window area-ish thing. You jump down, you die, you basically respawn. Can you die? Yes, yes, that blue thing at the floor is death. Oh no, I turned black. Oh no, how exciting. So this is the Jedi Archives. Um, yeah, it's... That's pretty much it, that's the Jedi Archive, it's, it looks really good in 1080p, it's high depth, it's pretty good. <laughs> Alrighty, head 
back to where we came from and we can check out the final area which we haven't explored and besides Ryloth which is the Jedi Temple uh, Meditation Chambers yeah, that's right right in the middle these two doors over here lead back to the main lobby in the main hallway and this is the meditation chamber it hasn't changed much it's still the same you have the NPC which kind of stands around and does not nothing you have some statues you have this thing and yeah meditation chambers still exactly the same it looks much better in high definition but uh, essentially nothing here it's different everything is still the same so let's not spend too much time here, let's head back to the classic lobby and then we can explore Ryloth. Now Ryloth is the starting area of the game, I have not forgotten that, I definitely remember Ryloth. Um, it's fun, it's awesome, it's, there are a lot of enemies to shoot there, if you don't want to go to um Umbara you can come to Ryloth and take down some enemies there. Now before I turn around and reveal the place I already did, but just hear me out. It's very unstable, it's not great, and it's very laggy. If you're not running, if you don't have a computer that's, uh, you know, high graphic or anything like that, I don't recommend coming here. Maybe once, just look around, and then you should probably never come back here again, because it's it's pretty laggy. It's It needs fixing. The developer himself has said it. Um, okay, and the lag begins. Okay, let's do this. So it, it basically looks the same, it's missing a couple of elements basically because this is just the prototype of the planet. Um, similar to Kamino, Kamino is missing a lot, but like it's just kind of, it's there. But Kamino has been obviously here for much longer than Umbara. Yes, yes, this is very laggy. Okay, maybe if we can just turn away from the detail on... Ah, uh, this is, okay. Okay, maybe if we walk, okay, if we walk backwards, this will work better. Alrighty. Walking backwards seems to do the trick. If you come down here, this is basic, yeah, that's where the droids are. You can head to them, you can shoot them, and you can gain points. And then you can use those points to purchase armor, weapons, and etc. You don't need to purchase companions, they're already there for you. Oh no, the droid is back, but um, what the heck, um, never mind. You don't have to purchase companions, they're all there for you, you can get them at any time, but I don't really use them, because they just kind of glitch, and just random shit starts to happen at random times, so I tend to stay away from those. So, if you do remember the original game, you start basically over here. There would be a, like a pathway which you walk through, you shoot some enemies, or you stab some enemies with a lightsaber if you were a Jedi character, not a clone. This is basically, this is what Ryloth was. Oh look, there's a droid following me, how exciting. Everything is the same, but everything's not the same. Things have changed. Basically because this is just the design of the map. The design is basically the same, but the detail is obviously different. This will probably never be like the original game. Maybe it will come online and people can come together, create guilds and talk to each other and communicate and be nostalgic and shit. But this will probably never be like it used to be. Okay, lightsaber jewels probably will never come back. Starfighter... The original Starfighter missions probably won't be back. Stuff like that. The daily spins and all that. <laughs> There's very little chance of those returning. Unless Sony, of course, brings the game back. Which I highly doubt is even a possibility. But it is fun to come here and explore. Go through your... Like, go through the archives of your memory. Just remember all this stuff. Remember back to Clone Wars. Remembering a... It's, it's it's enjoyable, it's fun, I highly recommend getting this, I must give a kudos to Mr. Joshua Panola, you have done a great job remaking or remastering this game, rebooting it, whatever you want to call it, keep doing what you're doing, if possible, people, 
if you can help the guy out because it's not easy okay what he's doing is a gigantic favor to many star wars fans um i definitely don't want this to stop i'll just head back to the classic lobby where i can just relax a bit yeah it's yeah it's much more easier to walk around here yeah like i said good work to the person making this it is great mr panola you've done a great job if you can help him out make sure you do because like i said it's not easy um the things that have been added we have a new planner what used to be here was the lightsaber sign where you can go back to the meditation chambers but that basically just takes you back to uh, it's basically in coruscant so there's no point of it being there because you can access it through coruscant you have coruscant next to uh ryloth obviously the planet icons of both coruscant and um kamina are a bit fucked up they'll probably be fixed at a later time so yeah that that is the breakthrough update of star wars clone wars adventures emulator as you can see it's nothing like galaxy's emulator that had an entire production team working on it you know that that's a completely different story uh, knights of the old republic at Peron is like an entire community of people working on it this is just a person and maybe a couple of other people and it's some damn fine work for a small bunch of people to do it in such limited time it's only been i think maybe about a year oh no maybe maybe a year maybe two years since this project started and it has advanced immensely they've done some great work with this i definitely hope you guys show your support download it try it out um yeah there's really not much i can say guys this is a great update <laughs> it's awesome it's got everything it's got points it's got armor you know you come back here you've got um, the mando armor oh sorry let me press it come on yeah you got, you got the boba fett armor which you can purchase for twenty five thousand. obviously things like this will take time to unlock you know a hundred thousand there yeah um but it's totally worth it you know I love this game. I loved it as a kid. It was enjoyable to play. And I love the emulator. So, guys, this is the Clone Wars Adventures emulator. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for a whole bunch of Star Wars The Old Republic pre recorded videos coming up. Some of them have the old intro. I've basically had them for about a year. I don't want to get rid of them. I want to show them all, put them up on YouTube. So, stay tuned for those. I also have, I'm working on a little project, my own little mix soundtrack called the Star Wars Expanded Universe. Uh, ambient soundtrack you can go through my channel my playlist you will find it there it's called the star wars expanded universe uh, ambient soundtrack it's basically a collection of music i have made of different sources from star wars combined the names aren't necessarily like from the actual game so if i make a song called the kyle katan theme song it's not necessarily the kyle katan theme song it's just a song which i've put together which i feel would go well with the persona of kyle katan um, so there are already a couple of videos of those up, not all of them are ambient, I just called it the ambient soundtrack since the first few songs were pretty ambient. I hope you guys check it out, show your support by putting a like, subscribe to the channel, comment what you think below, do you want to see more of this? I will be showcasing every Clone Wars Adventures emulator which is released, every update released, stay tuned for those, sorry it's been a while, <laughs> there's not much I can do. And, well, I hope I see you guys in the next video. Farewell.